Hello, today we're going to look at Translator 6's instrument screen. This is a very powerful feature of Translator to where you can view the innards of all types of in instruments of any sort of uh, format. And you can see how they're laid out on the key map from key ranges to velocity ranges. And you can also audition samples and audition instruments itself. So let's go through it. Right now we've got a file, an EXS file called CMB Lush Pad, and we've selected on the left container pane here, and here we can see the layout. There's two samples here, and you can see with the tooltip that this is the name of the sample and that this is what key that we're on top of. We can select it, and then we see the waveform in the wave player below. You can also use the autoplay checkbox to play the sample when you've selected it. So let's try that here. And there it's playing. Let's do this one, and then it's playing that. There are several different features of the uh, instrument screen. One of them is that we can load this EXS file and play it back on our keyboard. So all you have to do is click load and there it shows it's loaded, and then on a MIDI keyboard you can play the file like this. And you can see on the keyboard below it shows you what keys you're hitting. And that's it. The audition is not the exact re replication of the file because it's obviously, yeah, this is a, just a, a uh, instrument audition utility and it gets pretty close but it's not exactly like the EXS file would sound in an EXS player and that goes for the other things but it does get awfully close it's powered by our translator engine and uh, again uh, it does a pretty good job so you're able to kind of get what these things sound like you can do the same thing with this Akai file here called booty bounce and see we've got this Again, you're selecting those uh, samples on the wave player, and then we can load it. Now it's loaded, and now again I can play it back on the screen. Okay, let's go through the features on top of the instrument screen and see what they do. Uh, the first one is whether it uh, the translator automatically switches to the instrument view when you're selecting it on the left. So you notice if I turn on that, then it goes to the EXS file, goes to that, it goes to booty bounce. But if I uncheck it, you'll notice that there's no change. It'll just go to the object list. And it won't automatically change. The Again, the instrument view, you can access it with the panel switch right there. The next one is whether the right hand thing shows up. You can eliminate it or, lim or show it. Just to show what this is, it is the name of the sample that's selected. Like and the low key and the high key and the low velocity, high velocity, the root key and the path and where it's located. So it tells you where it is. And if again, we turn it off, that's off. Um, this is the compose switch. So in, internally, if you want to just go things really fast here, it won't calculate the mappings. So if you turn that off, then it's this is pretty much disabled. Um, there's the load, loading, load and loading button. If it says load, then to load it, you just click. And then we get the icon and then the EXS file that's there. Um, these are the zoom features, so you, you can see, actually let's do booty bounce, so it's a little bit more. You can go up to a large resolution, and then you can see this a little bit better. And you can see that zoom, the, the scroll bar comes in, and then you can view all these things on the zoom. So that's pretty much the instrument. Uh, screen and the inter instrument auditioning feature in Translator. Uh, please feel free to uh, please feel free to check out any of our videos, like the uh, navigation or the customization of the interface or the wave player or the conversions or anything that Translator has to offer. 
Thank you very much and have a nice day.